Welcome back to Casual Camping and Outdoors. In this video, we're going to take a look at the In Flame Fire Starters. The package says these are fire starters made of wood fibers for grill, fireplaces, and bonfire. I discovered these fire starters over on a YouTube channel called JB Outdoors and More. I'll put a link in the video description to his video. Check out his channel while you're over there. He makes some really good review videos. So let's take a look at what we have here. You've heard me mention in previous videos that when you're building a fire, you should start with a tinder source that is dried grass, pine needles, dead leaves, any kind of a dry fibrous material that you crush up together, kind of rub it all into a big bundle about the size of a, I don't know, maybe a baseball or even a golf ball, and you call that a bird's nest or tinder bundle. Well, in this package, which you get 24 of these little bundles. So we're going to take a look at these three. This was actually an idea that Joe and I were tossing around on his channel. And so I thought I'd give it a try and see if it worked. But I'll show you about that one in a minute. For this first one, what I'm going to do is I'm kind of curious what's in the middle of these. I want to cut this down the middle and then see if I can get it to take a spark from my ferrule rod. And here we have... As you can see, it's just a fibrous, just wood fibers. This is all natural. It's wood fibers and wax. So it would be perfectly safe to start a cooking fire with these that you're going to cook fire, or cook food rather, directly over because there's no chemicals. In the last video, you saw where I had the little plastic test tubes, these little jewels here, and I filled them with a conventional fire starting material, but two out of the three of those had chemicals in them. So I don't know that I'd want to cook food directly over a flame made with those chemicals. But in this middle one, let's see if we can get this to take a spark from our ferro rod and produce us a flame. So there are many ways of using a ferro rod. I typically just pin down whatever tinder I'm using and strike my ferro rod into it. Other people say you should pull like this. I find that motion to be a little counterintuitive and not as not as good for me anyway you do it whatever way works for you but this is what works for me okay so There we go. And we'll blow that out. I'm trying not to set the garage on fire. This one, obviously, if it'll take a spark from a ferro rod, it'll take a flame from a match, I would imagine, with no difficulty whatsoever. And these supposedly have a burn time of more than 10 minutes or so. So what we're gonna do in another video is maybe test that out and see if we can substitute the little fuel cubes that we use with our camp stove with one of these because the little fuel cubes are all chemicals and these are not. So I'll blow that out as well. Now here's the idea that Joe and I were tossing around on his YouTube channel, simply taking one of these bundles, sticking a matchstick, or in this case two, down the middle of it, and then you can just strike your match. Now obviously that would have to be kept dry prior to use. So what you'd want to do is put this in a uh, watertight container, film canister if you have some of the old 35 millimeter film canisters. You could even cut that in half or cut it in segments to fit. You really don't need a whole one necessarily to start a campfire if you've got good conditions. You could put it in a Ziploc baggie or what have you and then a little piece of this striker paper. You can take this box apart. It's got striker paper on either side and all you need is a tiny little piece of striker paper to strike a match. You don't need this entire surface. You can do it with just that little piece. So there you go. I really like these and we're going to make a video about whether or not this would boil a cup of water or at least heat the water enough to make uh, coffee or hot chocolate with. 
And as I said, I'll put a link in the video description to Joe's channel. Check out his videos. He does a really good job. So until next time, thanks for joining us. And boy, that just wants to keep going, doesn't it? And get a cup of water to boil with just one of these instead of one of those chemical fuel cubes. Okay, you're done.